Hey everybody, welcome. Thank you once again for tuning in. This video might be a little bit interesting. I'm going to do a comparison of a recording with my camera against a smartphone. Let me uh, try to set the stage for what I'm trying to do here and why. Now, I do most of my shooting with a dedicated Sony mirrorless camera, interchangeable lens camera. But there was a time last year when I didn't have a camera because I sold my previous Sony camera waiting for a new model. So I figured I would pass the time and try shooting on a smartphone camera because after all, everybody says that smartphone cameras have gotten so good with video that they're basically going to be replacing or eliminating the need for dedicated cameras in the future. So I'm thinking, well, why not put that to the test? And I did that last year and I found the, the results were quite interesting. What I found personally is that smartphones do indeed take great videos, but there are certain situations where it might not be very good. And one of those situations is right here, this, this type of environment, this type of controlled uh, studio environment where you have the lighting, where you have the lighting controlled, you know, and uh, low uh, ambient background lighting. I found that to be a situation where it might not work as well for a smartphone. So I figured I wanted to show you the comparison to see, you know, maybe if you're observing the same things that I'm going to, I'm going to be observing and I'm going to be recording shortly because I have a smartphone right here, right next to my main camera, which is what I'm looking into at the moment. So in about a second here, I'm going to switch over to the iPhone 12 Pro Max here, and then you'll see the, the difference in the image quality or be able to compare between the two. Now I wanna let you know that I'm recording both of them using the same approach, basically manual camera settings. I have manual settings on the Sony camera tuned in to what I think is optimal. And then I have pretty similar settings on the iPhone 12 Pro Max running the Filmic Pro app. Uh, which does uh, cinema video camera settings so you can dial in everything manually and get the picture hopefully the way you want it. So I'm going to pick up my little remote here and I'm going to start recording and it's starting to record now and now I'm going to switch over and look into the 12 Pro Max. So right now I'm speaking or filming with the iPhone camera in the same room and looking at the image here, I'm looking into the lens here and looking at the, the screen to monitor what I'm seeing here. I can already tell from the monitoring the, that the image quality is going to be different. Um, there are some characteristic differences that I found through um, tests and observances using the iPhone 12 Pro as a substitute camera for my main Sony camera. And basically, there's a tendency for images to look overly sharp, which is happening right now. Uh, the other thing is the flesh tones and uh, skin detail don't look nearly as, as good as, a, as on a dedicated camera, interchangeable lens camera that is. Yeah, and then the other thing to be expected, of course, is the general lack of, of depth. There's generally not that depth of feel that you would get, you would expect from a dedicated interchangeable lens camera or mirrorless camera, you know, that I would get from the Sony. So it's a different type of experience, very doable, certainly. Um, you know, the image quality is pretty good. It just doesn't just match up to, to a good dedicated camera. I'm not saying that this is a bad choice. It's just that this is one thing to expect in this type of environment. I think if you were in a very well-lit environment in daytime with abundant ambient light coming in, I think you would get probably much better results from, from an iPhone. But for some reason, this type of environment where there's just, you know, the key lighting, studio lighting here, it just doesn't seem to work quite as well for whatever reason. You know, and that's really the difference here. Then that's the reason why people use dedicated cameras. They, they actually serve a definitive purpose, which is for, which is to, to get the best possible image out there. You know, when you have really good optics, dedicated lens design from a good manufacturer with a good, um, with a good camera design, like Sony or Canon or Nikon or Panasonic or whatever, you know, you're just gonna get better image quality. So hope that helps a little bit for those of you who are deciding between the smartphone and the interchangeable lens camera. Take care, talk to you soon.